Here we are at Joppa Flats up here in Newberry. There's the Joppa Flats research facility. It's particularly focused on uh, the intertidal estuarine wildlife. That looks like some kind of school across the street. And over here, we'll go to see Spencer Little Farm. This is an area I'll be back to quite a bit. This road will take you all the way out to the end of the Bay Circuit on the north, and I'll be visiting that later in the year. But for now, we want to head towards Raleigh. And directly across the street here, we find the Eliza Little Walking Trail. And it's a property of the Society for the Preservation of New England Antiquities. It's one of the oldest homes in the Commonwealth. And it's also where the Bay Circuit heads down towards Raleigh and eventually to its southern terminus in Kingston where I've been spending altogether too much time of late. You can see it's a uh, Pretty extensive meadow. I believe this is an old airport. Still working. I seem to remember the trail directions uh, tell you to be alert to airplanes. We have the double blaze indicating the direction of Plum Island. The sun coming down on the sign. All in all, it's a fabulous day. I was just over it. Joppa Flats chatting with the staff and I'll probably be back here quite a bit. It keeps bringing me back. There between those two homes you catch a glimpse of Plum Island in the distance. I think I understand. You follow the lower edge of the airport grass strip down here. And you head this way, sort of skirting it. Don't want to annoy the planes. This must have been an interesting easement negotiation. See the airstrip. Pretty impressive. Little flight way. Follow along the edge, and we should be coming to the div divergence before long. And sure enough, don't have to go very far. Here's the uh, confidence blaze on a charming little sign that also warns you to not bother the airstrip, the Plum Island Aerodrome an active grass one runway. So should you end up over here, just make sure to walk along the edge of the shrubbery and everything and head that way. Do not walk across the middle of the seemingly tempting field. It'll drive the pilots crazy and it could result in some significant injury to yourself if they collide with you. So here's where it goes back into the woods. 
and we're heading Rowley Wood. I should be in Rowley before too long. It's a pretty cool trail. Got some ancient boardwalk action. Everything's nice and dry this time of year. Mosquitoes are getting annihilated by the sudden precipitous drops in temperature. It's a perfect time to be out walking about appreciating the essential gifts of life that really cost so little and are so much more intrinsically valuable than the pottage of nonsense we're often prompted to care about. Got some little sedge tufts and you can see the farm. I believe this is a working farm of some kind, which makes sense. There's a bunch of old cattails on a marsh edge. Oh yeah, this might be some kind of cropping. Yeah, it looks like corn. Probably cow corn, who knows. Maybe it's butter and sugar corn. With our more reliable water, we've had a much better year for growing corn than much of the drought-stricken Midwest has had. Huh, that yellow stuff looks like it might be mustard. Man, the purple asters are at the peak of their blooming. Nice little readily trimmed trail. Corn as far as the eye can see. Well, not really, but quite a bit anyway. And here's how they solve the problem of blazing where there's no trees to put one on. A little post, which up here seems to stay put. I think in other places, post-blazing runs the risk of being ripped up by the disgruntled. This looks back to the trailhead. And over here, you can see Joppa Flats, Mass Audubon facility in the distance. All of its solar panels gleaming on the roof. They were so excited about the Rough Meadows project. It was pretty funny. I'll be examining it anyway. I was looking it up the other day. It's a cool collaboration. This heads off towards the working side of the farm, it would appear. And this is the direction we want to go in. turn. Not an arctic one. Ooh. Looks like we got a bit of zucchini in the weeds. Some such squash. And then after this little jog we head this way. 